Catherine, you're the uh, you're the preeminent reporter on the World Intellectual Property Organization's activities. Uh, when did you start uh, covering WIPO? Oh, six or seven years ago. And uh, what was the first issue you were asked to cover? I don't actually remember. Honestly, it was like one of those committees at WIPO. I cannot remember in the cycle which one I caught first. <laughs> What, what issues uh, have you found the most interesting in the time you've been covering WIPO? Um, well, uh, the IGC, uh, the SCCR, because uh, the Marrakesh Treaty negotiations were hugely interesting. And uh, trademarks, actually. I thought the trademark committee was uh, NGIs. So, plenty of interesting committees actually arrive <laughs> in discussions, even if things are not going as fast as people would want to. And uh, do you find that it is easy to talk to the delegates? Are they reasonably forthcoming? Actually, yes. I think it's pretty easy to talk. They, they might not tell you what you want them to tell you, but they are very approachable. Most of them, it's a very rare exception when you find people that kind of run from you and don't want to talk. It happens, but uh, rare. Has, has the availability of webcasting made it easier for you to do your job? Absolutely. I was very, very useful. And uh, is there any reason you can imagine why you can't be in the room with the negotiations take place? That's a very good question. I cannot imagine why, no, uh, because uh, maybe it's a lack of space. I don't know. <laughs> um, it doesn't make any sense really, but uh, it's the way it is. Would you uh, have you have you covered any of the other uh, trade negotiations, like the free trade agreements that are loosely, loosely because um, my main focus is in Geneva. How would you care the, compare the transparency of the WIPO negotiations on intellectual property to some of the other negotiations on intellectual property you have covered? Well, if you if you compare with the WTO, for example, and the session of the trips cancelled, the trips cancelled are completely it's completely closed. There's no way you can have a clue of what's happening inside. WIPO, in comparison, is very transparent when it comes to plenary negotiation. Of course, do you have informal negotiation that you can not have access to, but in plenary it has been very welcome and useful to have this access to the actual discussions. Is it helpful to have access to the negotiating venue itself? Like I noticed you're here in the cafeteria on the 13th floor. Yes, yes, it is. Oh, I shouldn't say the cafeteria, this is the former <laughs> cafeteria, right? <laughs> well, thank you very much. Is there anything you'd like to add before I turn off the camera? Um, no, <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you.